And you remember how the problems in the DRC started when Mobutu Sesseko was the president. He tried to victimize a small minority who are pastorally called Banyamulenge. Banyamulenge. And there were hardly one million of them in a nation of over 60 million. They took up arms because nobody would accept to be a second class citizen in his own country. DRC has never seen peace since then. It doesn't matter how big your numbers are. If the smallest community in Kenya decides I'm having a road deal and I'm going to destroy this country, they have the capacity to do it. Let us keep our unity as a nation. We have the most beautiful country in the world. The diversity is our strength. It's not supposed to be our weakness. When a very senior government, a government official says all politics is local, what are you talking about? And you want to be the president of this country? Who is going to allow you to be the president of this country? Because you are basically saying that I will only take care of my small village up there. Honorable Chungwa, you have done us proud and many like you. Let us keep the unity of this country for God's sake and not listen. And the National Cohesion and Integration Commission should be doing its job. It should be doing its job very well. We went close to having a collapsed stadium, uh, Mr. Speaker, in, in 2007. Me and you were in the parliament that time, 2008. We avoided that calamity and complete dissolution of the Kenya government because many people came from all over the world to come and assist us. We have to learn from the mistakes we made in the past and never try and do it again. We've seen what happened in Rwanda. They tried to eliminate completely a small minority of Tutsis who are 15%. But they came back and they're ruling that country for 30 years and they'll rule for another 50 years. Nobody gives you a guarantee because you have the numbers, 